So we are a few minutes away from leaving Bucketlist Hostel after three weeks. For the last couple of days it's been raining really hard with like 10 minutes breaks every hour. So we can't do anything, we cannot work and we cannot chill anymore here. Unfortunately we have to leave this place but uh, the three weeks spent here was really nice because we met a lot of interesting people from all around the world the people who come here and the four guys who operate the place are also fantastic. We had really good chats with them and we hope to see them when we come back next year. Now we are heading to Pune. Uh, one of our friends lives in Pune. Uh, he is a guy that we met here in a, in a party basically. His name is Tahir. He's an amazing guy and he invited us to his house. We heard a lot about Pune. It's a big city so it's going to be so much different than Goa. Like, yeah. I can't even imagine, it will be the first big Indian city that we will go to. Yeah, 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 I'm just so excited because now I think we saw a lot from Goa and we heard that it will be totally different, so again there will be many things to, to explore. It's only 12 hours from here with the bus and the bus will cost around 700 rupees per person, so it's, it's quite it's cheap. It's a good deal, yeah. Yeah, it's even a sleeper bus, it's a silver bus, so you will get your own bed in it. We saw pictures about it, and it looks great. Yeah, and what is the best? There will be Diwali. Diwali. Uh, the Indian holiday of Diwali is going to be this weekend, uh, so we can celebrate it with our friends. I just yes. can't wait to see an Indian celebration. beginning I find out that pillowcase can be a perfect thing to separate my clothes. Now this is one of it. I think I will keep it here. Just give back to the environment. Guys would you like to say something for the last time to the bucket list hostel? <laughs> It was an amazing time, amazing. Yeah, we are sure going to come back to meet the guys again and because we had a lot of good memories from here. Yeah, and I just want to say every ending is a new beginning. This is in the end, 6 p.m. What's up guys? Hey, we are on the sleeper bus finally and it's amazing. You can look around and see that we have a yeah, really bad space. Lie down and it's a bit cold by the way but we have sweaters in the bags. Mm -hmm. And here is Veronica. <laughs> There's, this is a really nice bed. Uh, it was 650 rupees, so it's a really good price for a 12 hour ride. What's up, guys? Everything blue. All good. I think we've been two hours on the bus, and it's like this. Yeah, so there are this is no crazy. Ones. Like, really, you're lying. I was sitting for most of the time and like I fell a couple of times on the bus onto Levy. Yeah, Gary, Gary even hit his head and now he has something like grown there. Yes, in the toilet. Ah, I did. We 
arrived in Kornoi. Kornoi. Uh, Katraj, I think. Katraj. It's somewhere in Pune and we've been on the bus for 11 hours. If you reserve a seat, make sure it's in the middle of the bus because we were in the back and the bus was going like this all the time. Sometimes we were like flying above the bus, so it's really cool. Pune is the eighth biggest agglomeration in India with population over 5 million people. It's located in the state of Maharashtra. Pune is one of India's fastest developing cities. It's called the Oxford of the East because the city has numerous educational institutions. The contrasts existing in the city next to each other were shocking for us. On one hand, there are five star hotels and luxury villas, on the other, slums people begging for money and food, children playing in dirt. Our friend came to pick us up and we went to his apartment. The house is really beautiful and we, we slept for four hours. We ate some really nice breakfast and now we are heading to the mountains. cannot find by yourself. Some local person has to take you. Uh, we would never find this place, but like the, they know the guy who owns this land, and one time they just he just showed them this place that this is the perfect spot to come to. And yeah, this is true. Like all around us are mountains, and the road here was like serpentine up and down on the hill, and the view. What's the wonder? Amazing. <laughs> Hi. And here is Tahir. On the way back from the mountains, Tahir took us to a place where they drink chai in a very special way. It's called Gacham, the overflowing chai. Uh, what they do is they force this down here. Yeah? You can hold it in your hand if you don't want to keep it down and spur this. When you, when, you, when you sip this, you have to have a voice. Yes, now. Then you can taste it better. The day after, we got invited to a Diwali party. During this holiday, people celebrate the victory of light over darkness, good over evil, and knowledge over ignorance. To us, it looked like Christmas and New Year's Eve at home, because of lights, colorful decoration, and of course, fireworks and crackers everywhere. We dressed up in traditional Indian clothes to fit the dress code. The party was very, very Indian. Locals sang along and danced to Bollywood music, everyone dressed in colorful, fancy celebration clothes with tons of golden jewelry. The following day we got invited to a wedding in Mumbai, which is 160 kilometers from Pune. We got very excited, because we heard a lot about Indian weddings. The celebrations usually last from 3 to 5 days and the crowd is huge. This particular wedding lasted five days and there were almost 400 guests. Now, I was left alone. I'm separated from the guys because uh, here uh, the women and the men uh, have to eat separately. So I'm here with some ladies, some little girl is here too, she's very cute. Uh, this is actually a Bori wedding, so not a Hindu wedding as you may think about an Indian wedding. Really interesting because they have different traditions. India is so colorful, so many traditions, religions, so we can get to know one of them. And now let's eat. Delicious. They have 
some, some interesting traditions. Nine people sit next to one table. Uh, basically, it's not a table, it's called a tal. It's a big round plate. And the waiters bring new foods. After you finish one, they bring the other. An interesting thing is that they eat a pinch of salt in the beginning of the meal and at the end of the meal. They say it's really good for your taste buds and for your digestion. During the last few days, we discovered the city of Pune. Now we can see how crazy the traffic here is. It's completely out of control, but since no one is following the rules, they have no choice but to pay attention to each other. We are exploring the Lakshmi road right now. It's a big road with many shops. We turned from the Lakshmi road uh, to a little street and it's so crowded. The road itself was really loud. We just couldn't hear each other because of the horns and people talking. It has a feeling like this is a big Indian city. <laughs> it's a bit shocking at first, but there is something enjoyable about it. Next to Lakshmi Road, there is a temple dedicated to the Hindu god Ganesha. Over 100,000 pilgrims come here every year. We saw that even people passing by on a motorbike stopped to say a prayer. We had to take off our shoes to enter the sacred place. Many people come here to pray and to give offerings to the God. It was interesting because we had to take off our shoes even before we entered the courtyard. Then we were separated into two lines, to ladies and men. But we had the chance to see the statue from really close up. you can see a statue of a rat and the tradition here is to whisper your wishes into its ear. After the meditation inside you come out here and do your wishes. Hope you enjoyed this video if yeah, you did. did. Please press like and subscribe to our channel so you can follow our journey with us. You can check out our brand new Patreon page where you can find some behind the scenes or funny videos. Or you can even get a postcard from us every month. The link is in the description and see you in the next video. See you.